Bitcoin hits 20 month high. Ethereum climbs 2,200. Bull market confidence surges. Are you still doubting that the bull market has not started yet? The U.S. SEC's dominance in crypto regulation may be changing. CC has a competitor. Unilon moves frequently and causes trouble. The NFT platform will also be launched soon. Ethereum's low TPS and high gas fees have been criticized. Serious ecological loss. So can the Cancun upgrade solve the criticism? Justin Bieber suffered huge investment losses before. Kim Kardashian was later fined. You need to be more careful when celebrities endorse the crypto industry. Rethinking the world with cryptocurrencies. Master the 24-hour wealth password. Let's slowly become rich together. Monday, December 4th. Where is the coin chain? My name is Michael. Please remember this ordinary day, December 4th. Why you should remember December 4th, 2023. Because around 6.30 this morning, Bitcoin once again breaks through the $40,000 mark. The highest point reached $40,250, set a new high in 2023 again. As of 12 noon today, the price of Bitcoin is hovering around $40,000. To compete for the round number of 40,000, up to point two percent in 24 hours, Ethereum also reached its highest point of 2,217 dollars at about the same time, set a new high for the year. Ethereum closed at 2,212 dollars at noon today, 24-hour increase up to 38. Bitcoin's market capitalization has increased by 157 in the past 24 hours, rose to 384 dollars, 11 cents billion. The current market capitalization of Bitcoin has exceeded Exceeded that of Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway and Tesla. They established as the 10th most valuable asset in the world. It's a normal day, so is it still a good time to invest in Bitcoin now? Still a very good strategy. But if you have a mining machine, it is equivalent to your fixed investment in Bitcoin with a standard of $20,000. But if you want to buy a machine now, it is hard to find one. From the last week, we will tell you about it in our weekly review on Monday morning. From the perspective of technical indicators, the callback requirement is there. But technically speaking, there is no signal of peaking. What is the peaking signal? In our member only weekly review after the close this morning, I gave you three examples. If these three signals appear, that means the callback is about to begin. Let us take a look at the current proportion of long-term holders. Its profitability ratio basis costs continue to decline at a cost of $20,848. This shows that more investors are exchanging their tokens at higher prices. And for short-term holders, it's realized price. The current holder base cost is $31,500. This further confirms that this bull market trend is very strong. However, this does not mean that all investors are blindly chasing higher prices. In fact, we see that the number of long-term holders is decreasing. It shows that some long-term holders are quietly selling their tokens, thereby locking in their profits. Let us take a look at the situation with Ethereum. Currently, the total locked-up volume on Layer has risen to a fixed dollars billion. Hit record high. This is good news for Ethereum. Finally breathed a sigh of relief. It has increased by 301 in the past seven days. Among them, Arbitrumin ranks first in lockup volume. The increase over the past seven days is 3.2%. Currently it is Usite dollars, 6 cents billion. It also hit a record high. Op Mainant ranks second. Increased 1.48% in the past seven days to reach for dollars billion. Basis third has increased by 4.9% in the past seven days to $626 million. Good, please like it. Let us help you sort out the 24-hour news on the crypto track that you can miss. This year we have reported countless times on the SEC and Gigagram, characters that everyone hates. But the SEC is indeed an existence that can't be ignored in 2023. He first sued Binance, and then assert their sovereign status. Then I sued all the encryption companies one by one. Therefore, when everyone talks about SEC in the circle, they always talk about SEC in a disgraceful way. The situation may change, because in terms of supervision, there will also be competition in management agencies. A regulatory earthquake is quietly brewing. According to Axia's report, New York's Department of Financial Services may finally overtake the SEC, become the most influential Kripakinashi regulator. The current number of NITS employees has reached more than 60 people becoming one of the largest crypto sectors in the world. At the same time, NIPS also has specific authority for crypto needs. This is one of the reasons why it has become a more influential regulator. In comparison, 
SEC appears to be lagging behind when it comes to Kripakinashi regulation. It may not be able to provide more granular regulation of Kripakinashi markets like the NIFs. I don't know how everyone interprets this news. You may think that the SEC only knows how to find people. He really should be allowed to have some checks and balances on his power. So is NIPS used to check and balance the SEC? We have to put a question mark. As we all know, supervision is also competitive. We made this circle have too many fat people. But what are the benefits to us? If the SEC, for example, in terms of fines, the SEC wants to find 10 million. Can we also discuss it with DS? Give me a 50% discount. I can pay the fine at your place. People often ask if they want to participate in Act 20 when it is launched. Should you pay attention to the inscription on Ethereum? If we take Brack 20 as a lesson for a new ecology, how long will it take to develop? And what problems will it solve? Is there any prospect? Let us put it aside. A new ecology arises. We can at least participate with a small amount of money. If you make profits in the short term, you can repay the capital as soon as possible. This is a very important principle. For participating in early ecological construction in the blockchain industry and the crypto space, in the Andraptanty we are also the first community to join in the interference, so we have witnessed the growth of all Draptanty Union. We even had Union bring Draptanty down for a very short period of time. Not a single block can be produced in 10 minutes. Union has made progress recently. Not only does it bring a lot of wealth effects to everyone, it has more and more functions and content. Let's find out. November 25. Union officially releases Draptanty Swap Analysis Data System version 1.0. Includes detailed swap information and K-line data. The next day, they added more options. Includes percentage change for current trading pair. November 29, Union announced that it is reaching agreements with exchanges, third-party wallets and other project teams on indexing technology. Once a consensus is reached, Union Index will be open source. On December 1st, Union will launch the Doge Exchange Doge channel. Users can trade freely without any restrictions. On December 2, Union announced the promotion of Enfton related infrastructure. The Enfton platform is expected to be launched soon. It is obvious that the Drax and the ecosystem has great development prospects. There are three reasons. First, the code of Doggy Kuhn is copied from Bitcoin. So, what ecology is copied from Bitcoin to Doggy Kuhn? It's very smooth and smooth. Another second point. Sci holding addresses are very scattered. Complete the center. Complete decentralization. Moreover, the funds accumulated on the Doggy Kun chain are very abundant. Third, Doggy Kun is followed by a lunatic, the world's richest man Musk. So even though the value of Doggy Kun is still small now, but there are many reasons for his rise. What reasons do we have for not supporting the drug to the ecosystem? The Ethereum narrative will explode in 2024, and the layer R ecological concept may be a good track. Cristiano Ronaldo faces a US May Yuan E billion class action lawsuit against Binance. Celebrities should be aware of the risks when making call calls. In mid December, we will launch the first phase of investment DAO. We will take everyone to enter the primary market through investment, really grab 100 times the coins, and it is complete worth free governance. Everyone has the right to vote. Then we put this chain on Polygon for governance. Why? Because the gas fee in Ethereum is really too expensive. If it is pure DAO governance, everyone has to vote countless times from beginning to end, authorization and investment feedback to receive money, etc. If every time you vote and exercise your rights, it will cost you more than $10 or even hundreds of dollars, is it very difficult to manage? If each vote on Polygon costs less than one cent, everyone can be relaxed. If you transfer it to Polygon, you can use it for one or two years. Therefore, it is very difficult to manage. Everyone is looking forward to the Kankan upgrade to solve the gas fee of Ethernet. However, there were a lot of technical bugs in the Kankan upgrade, put off again and again. According to the latest news, Ethereum's Kankan upgrade delayed until early next year. Then the time is getting closer. What is the current stage of the upgrade? Let's find out. Consensus conference call for all Ethereum core developers is held every two weeks, mainly discusses and coordinates changes to the Ethereum consensus layer. This meeting mainly covered the evaluation of Kankan Deneb and DevNet 12 test updates, and a solution to the validator withdrawal issue that occurred in DevNet 11. Say, developers also had in-depth discussions on network specification clarification, upgrade planning process, and IP status. Ethereum Kankan upgrade aims to reduce gas fees and improve transaction throughput. After completion, expected to reduce layer to transaction fees by 10 to 100 times. In fact, high gas fees are one aspect 
In addition, everyone is more worried about the future of Ethereum. Have you noticed, smart contracts cannot solve all the problems of the blockchain world. On the contrary, when the BRAC20 narrative begins, everyone found that the indexing method of this protocol seems to be more scientific. So at the moment, the most important aspect for Ethereum to prove itself is, is it possible after Kenken, lowering its gas fee to the same level as Polygon, and other chains and Binance Smart Chai, so cheap that it can be ignored. But if that's the case, will Ethereum's deflation be affected again? This is a paradox. We have to see how the market will develop in the future. We hope Ethereum will usher in spring. We also hope that the market competition can be healthy and more intense. Actually, I especially want to do a survey. Is it because this exchange has invited many celebrities or supermodels? Or maybe a star comes to the platform to increase trust in him? Why yes, why not? Please tell me your answer in the comment area. Let us take a look at the bull market in the entire crypto world in 2021. Many celebrities and big names were coerced into it. For example, the football superstar is named Tom Brady. World supermodel Gisela Banchet. They were all sued by Skex after Skex collapsed. Who else? Basketball superstar Curry. Tennis player Osaka was sued for promoting the Skex platform. In addition, Kim Kardashian also endorsed the crypto market. The SEC issued a $1 million fine. If the end of the endorsement is not good, what about the investors? This Justin Bieber invested millions of dollars in Bored Ape. Now there is more than 50,000 yuan left. Ronaldo. That is to say, Ronaldo is also facing a Yusung dollar billion lawsuit because of Binance. Recently, the lawsuit was filed with the Southern District of Florida in Miami. Plaintiff is a California resident. Because Ronaldo collaborated with Binance in 2022 to create an M10 series, showcasing moments from his career, he is accused of encouraging millions of followers, fans and supporters to invest with the Binance platform and attract investment in unregistered securities. The lawsuit cites previous set warnings that virtual tokens may be securities and the disclosure of celebrities must make when being paid to promote securities. SEC chairman Gary Gensler said, celebrities and sports stars must disclose to the public how much you are paid from whom to promote securities investments. Although he did not indicate that celebrities cannot place orders on securities, but he hopes the public will take heed of celebrities' promotion of crypto assets. Invest carefully. For me, dealing with emerging industries like this, the most important thing is trust. I want to work with the largest trading platform. Without a doubt it is Binance. In fact, I know that from a politically correct perspective, we can educate them from goddess perspective. Your personal team must not only focus on money. You still have to consider risks, etc. I think it is right to say that. But when it comes to Skex endorsements, I have to cry out for these American stars. Was there anything wrong with Skex being endorsed back then? What kind of supervision does Skex lag? What kind of license does it need? That team of people, with all supervision in place, is there anything wrong with giving him a platform? I think there's nothing wrong with it. This kind of money can be earned with confidence and in a down-to-earth manner, but who knows that user assets will be misappropriated later. In the end, there was a crash and a thunderstorm. The board hits the spokesperson. Is it unfair to hit celebrities? There is no injustice, but there is one thing everyone should pay attention to. All these lawsuits, all these celebrities, happening in the year. As only in the United States can all problems be solved through litigation, because it is a place where the law can solve all problems, a place where you can reason. Celebrities can also file lawsuits if they are dissatisfied. See you on the legal platform. Let us take a look at today's currency news. Later stay to display. That can understand protocol Ordinal's cumulative fee revenue from minting reaches 3 to 776 TBC, approximately $133,562,200. The current total number of minted inscriptions reaches 45,891,151. Macrostratically, as Bitcoin holdings have exceeded $1.8 billion in floating profit. Historical data display. Macrostratically currently holds 174,000. 530 bitcoins. Average purchase price is $30,252 per coin. Total value locked in decentralized finance is about to cross the $50 billion threshold, currently $48.91 billion. This represents a significant rebound from the low of $36.39 billion set on October 18, 46 days ago. During this time, Double in Daffy experienced strong growth reaching 34.40%. Look and Shane monitoring shows. Camro, a charity funded by Butrium, 
transferred 50 million US to unknown wallet Xerox to 107 about two days ago. World's first Bitcoin is legal tender in El Salvador. AMS recently voted 67 in favor to 12 against. Officially approves President Nayib Bukele's six month leave of absence so that he can campaign ahead of next year's presidential election. In last week's program, we talked about the central bank's digital currency and ECNET. Many people started to feel confused. What is the difference between BDS and ECNET? Today, I want to clarify this concept with you. The full name of BDS is Central Bank Digital Currencies. Translated to Central Bank Digital Currency, the digital form of any country is legal tender, issued and endorsed by the central bank or government. It can all be called BDS, which is a collective term. What does ECNI mean? E stands for electronic, which stands for numbers. CNI is the abbreviation of renminbi, abbreviation for Chinese renminbi. Among them, CNN stands for China and Y stands for the symbol of Airbam. So ECNI refers to the digital renminbi. What is DFAP? DFAP is China's version of digital currency. What is DF? The abbreviation of digital currency. Translated to digital currency. Apelectropanatmin means electronic payment. So DFAP means digital currency and electronic payment. Sum up one sentence. BDS refers to the digital currency issued by central banks of various countries. DFAP and ECNI are the same thing. They all refer to China as digital renminbi. The above is the entire content of today's program. If you think our channel is valuable, welcome to give us a thumb up. All membership benefits are here. The bull market has now begun. If anyone still doubts, you should really think about what's wrong with you. We hope we won't get too arrogant in the bull market with you. Let us slowly become rich together. See you tomorrow.